The vestibular system comprises of vestibular apparatus and vestibular nuclei. Situated in the brain stem, vestibular nuclei play a central and critical role. Commissural fibers crossing the midline connect the paired nuclei, ensuring bilateral coordinated functioning of the vestibular system. The commissural fibers transmit inhibitory impulses between the vestibular nuclei, which are essential for maintaining balance in the firing activity. This phenomenon is called inhibitory commissural mechanism. In the event of unilateral labyrinthine damage at rest, the ipsilesional vestibular nucleus receives no inputs, while the contralesional nucleus continue receive inputs from the normal labyrinth and becomes hyperactive due to weak inhibitory inputs from ipsilesional vestibular nucleus. This creates an imbalance in the firing rates of the two vestibular nuclei. This imbalance is further aggravated as ipsilesional vestibular nucleus becomes hypoactive due to continuous inhibitory inputs through commissural inhibition from contralesional vestibular nucleus. This imbalance results in patients experiencing dizziness or vertigo. The natural process of vestibular compensation involves reduction in hyperactivity of contralesional vestibular nuclei and restoration of firing activity in hypoactive ipsilesional vestibular nuclei. There are four mechanisms which operate in parallel and synergistically to bring about vestibular compensation. Mechanisms involved in restoration of firing activity in ipsilesional hypoactive vestibular nucleus. Glycine and GABA are the inhibitory neurotransmitters of the commissural system. At ipsilesional vestibular nucleus, down-regulation of GABA and glycine receptors results in decreased responsiveness to the inhibitory inputs from contralesional vestibular nucleus. There is upregulation of intrinsic electrophysiological excitability of ipsilesional vestibular nucleus neurons. There is gradual and activity-dependent reorganization of synaptic connectivity. As a result, ipsilesional vestibular nuclei neuron starts receiving inputs from contralesional side. Mechanisms involved in reducing the hyperactivity of contralesional vestibular nucleus. Cerebellum exhibits cerebellocortical plasticity, inhibiting the activity of contralesional vestibular nuclei neurons, resulting in reduction in inhibitory inputs to the ipsilesional vestibular nucleus cells. Let's explore the role of calcium channel blocker like cinarizin in vestibular compensation process. Effect of CCB on intact, hyperactive contralesional vestibular nuclei. CCB contributes in reducing the hyperactivity of contralesional vestibular nucleus by two mechanisms. The central role is attributed to the fact that CCB increases the excitability of GABA energic Purkinje cells in the cerebellum. This contributes to the cerebellar effect of direct inhibition of hyperactive vestibular nuclei on the side of the intact labyrinth. At labyrinthine level, CCB, like cinarizin, prevents entry of calcium ions into the vestibular hair cells, reducing release of neurotransmitters, resulting in decreased firing frequency. This contributes to reducing the hyperactivity of contralesional vestibular nuclei. Effect of CCB on deafferented ipsilesional vestibular nuclei. CCB contributes in restoration of firing activity in ipsilesional hyperactive vestibular nucleus. Deafferentation may cause excessive calcium influx or calcium overload in vestibular neurons. This overload eventually leads to neuronal cell death due to its effect on metabolic processes. This cell death further depresses the resting activity of the ipsilesional vestibular nucleus neurons. Calcium channel blockers by inhibiting intracellular calcium influx 
may contribute to the compensation process by preventing the calcium overload and support the recovery of the vestibular nucleus neurons. Additionally, Cinerism enhances the responsiveness of vestibular nucleus neurons to vestibular nerve stimulation by improving cerebral and inner ear microcirculation. Vestibular rehabilitation exercises promote rewiring of synaptic connectivity. Synergism produces selective effect on vestibular system without affecting reticular activating system and thalamocortical pathway. Thus, it does not impact alertness and vigilance of the patients and may not interfere with vestibular rehabilitation exercises. Thus, synergism may support natural process of vestibular compensation.